Hey guys, it's Stacy with Green Owl Refab, and today I'm going to show you how easy it is to use a Prima Redesign Decor Transfer. So I got this really awesome vintage uh, ironing board while I was out junking. Get, fix this for you a little bit. <laughs> you can see that I've blended uh, vintage duck egg and sandbar on this. And then I just, in some little places here and there, I gave it a good uh, sand down so that some of the wood showed through. So I'm gonna use the long transfer here because I think it'll look perfect right down here. Uh, let me see if I can get you a little lower. There we go. I think you'll be able to see what I'm doing here just a little bit easier. backing off here very carefully because I don't want the transfer to stick to itself. And I'm going to center it right where I want it. Right about there. And I'm going to press down. And I forgot to grab my tape. Some people will tape down the corners. Let me grab the tape for you. Okay, I'm back. So you want to use a low tack tape so that you don't tear your paint off. I'm just using regular scotch tape here. Can you see me? decor transfers do come with a stick. I actually really like these little guys. They're kind of like the, uh, what do you call them? Uh, the kitchen place <laughs> that you can scrape your, your pizza stones with. And I got a four pack of these off of Amazon. They're called my favorite scraper. Hi, Cindy. Thank you. Happy Saturday to you too. So I'm going to show you real quick here how incredibly easy this is. So I'm going to start at the top here and literally just scraping and rubbing the design onto my project. And you'll know when it's ready because it starts to turn kind of white. And I know you guys can't probably see too well on here. I start kind of also pulling this off just a little bit. I noticed that doing this helps it to pick off it a little bit. So I just happen to really like these scrapers. Um, Pampered Chef, that's who I was thinking of. These are just like the Pampered Chef scrapers. And I didn't pay too much for those on Amazon. All right, now can you see here how this is now like white compared to the rest of it? That's because it, I know now that it has transferred um, onto my project. So I'm just going to keep working down. Um, just like with all my videos, um, all the products are available on my Etsy shop. That's etsy.com backslash shop backslash green owl refab. And I've provided a link in the description. Oh, hi, Cindy. Um, this really isn't a stencil. This is a decor transfer. And I peeled the backing off and then I taped it down here to this ironing board. And now I'm using my little scraper to transfer it to the wood. This usually goes pretty quick. 
pretty easy. Uh, when I can't really tell if it's transferring, I just give it a slight lift. There, now see again how it's white here. It's light colored, so that means it's transferred to my ironing board. And this ironing board, I use Dixie Bell Paint Company's uh, Vintage Duck Egg, and then I use the same bar in the middle to blend a little bit. It's kind of funny, this is the first time in a while that my living room has actually been clear enough for me to be able to do something like this. It's been so hot here in St. Louis that I've been working and painting out of my house instead of my workshop because I don't have AC. But I'm sure my family is happy for me to start having my house clear again. So I just kind of gently give it a lift. I can see that it's not completely transferred right there. There we go. Now again, lighter up here than down here because it's transferred and I just keep working my way down for the unveiling. There you go. Uh, I left some tape up here. Oops. All right, and we got that off. There you have it. So I have this vintage ironing board see it better <laughs> and again I painted it with chalk paint I blended uh, vintage duck egg with sandbar in the middle and then I used my Prima redesign transfer down the middle and what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to seal this with Minwax polycrylic and uh, this will probably be for sale or I may decide to keep it it's always really hard for me to get rid of my uh, my decor that I create. So, uh, also, some of you might want to know uh, if you can still see some of the the transfer. You can a little bit, but once you seal it with the polycrylic, uh, I mean, these are really super thin, like paper thin. But once you put the polycrylic on here, you won't be able to see any of the the surround at all. Um, it just blends right in. And I use satin because I don't like it too shiny. Um, Sometimes I use matte. This one might get matte, but there you have it. I took this vintage ironing board that I found out, found while junking, and turned it into this beautiful creation. All right, thanks everybody for watching.